you what's going on guys so today we're going to be installing a bumper tuck uh, to fix the normal Honda Integra uh, bumper gaps for the front bumper and the rear bumper well actually this is the front bumper or and then this is the for the rear bumper so we have the uh, Mac lifter kit installed uh, install that's what it's called. Yeah, Mac. Here we go. Mac lifter kit installs. That's what it's called. And we are simply just gonna fix the uh, normal Honda and Integra, the bumper gaps. If you guys know, you know these little uh, gaps. There's always like a little gap right here, and then this comes loose. So if you know, you know what I mean. What I mean. What every Honda owner. Integra owner means there's always a like like a little gap right there and this kit fixes that problem so I highly recommend if you guys are you know into that keeping the cars clean and not having a bumper flopping around all over the damn place this kit is actually the best kit to get that's on the market right now it's actually not too bad it's not too expensive not too uh, not too cheap so it's just about affordable for anybody that build their cars and like to keep their cars clean and correct and uh, so on for it this is actually a really good kit uh, so yeah let me go show you the rear bumper as well just so you know what I mean see how the rear bumper has a little gap right there gap Usually uh, OEM usually has these problems or if you ever get like a paint job usually has these problems with the little gap right here you guys can see so we're gonna be able to fix these gaps without problems without any problems actually so if you could just see has a little bit of a gap can't really tell but you know how uh, we Honda owners like our cars clean sometimes I guess and see look at that look at the gap pretty big gap so we're gonna go ahead and uh, start by unclipping all the clips and the screws on the front bumper and then we're gonna go to the back bumper. So obviously you're gonna need a flathead. I had already started taking out some of the clips. You're gonna need a flathead to start pulling out some clips on the uh, uh, grill, front bumper grill, and I guess the support. So we gotta take out all the clips. There's about one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So there's like nine clips, more or less. So, uh, the tools would be, well, from the looks of here, the looks of it, it's a Phillips screw. So, Phillips screws, and maybe a little ratchet, 10 millimeter ratchet. Maybe that'll be required too. It doesn't really say what tools are required on the paper. So, yeah. So, I'm just going to use a flathead, pretty much. And pretty much get started. Just taking out and loosening all the, the clips, and that's it. Loosening all the clips. Much. Make sure you don't break them so you can actually reuse them. So try not to break the clips. That way you'll be able to reuse them. But I think the kit comes with clips, so that'll be a plus. If I'm not mistaken, it should come with clips. Put it in order so I know which clip goes where. 
that's just me. I like I like to do it like that. Keep it in order. So I'm not mixing uh, clips going all over the place. So it's pretty much all the clips are pretty much out. Now we gotta take out the front bumper. Just to make sure. Another thing, they also include clips with the kit as well. So that's actually a really good thing. So if you break one of the clips, there's a few extra clips that come with the kit. So that's not so bad. So in case anybody was wondering, they actually include clips too, which is awesome. Which is great, actually. Very great. because the car is lowered. So now I'll be able to take it out, take out the Phillips head screw, but then just turn the wheel. Fog lights.
find let, find let you do some show. Wow. No connectors. For the fog lights. Alright guys, so when I originally pulled out the bumper, it had a it only had one tape holding down the holding down the uh, foam bumper support. So I added another layer of uh, Gorilla tape on you know, one end and the other. So that way it doesn't move or shake or anything while the car is under, uh, you know, under high revs or you know, going fast. So it doesn't make any weird noises. Also, for this car has original uh, fog lights. These little wires were hanging around. So it was, it was zip tied down to the bumper. So what I did is I just zip tied this onto the onto the bumper frame support over here and right there. And I did the same thing on this side. Put some zip ties so the the fog lights don't come scratching around on the ground or whatever. So that's another tip while the bumper's out. Just put some zip ties. Because these fog lights don't have don't know but they don't have any um, connectors for it to work or function I don't know if these fog lights are like ground type of fog lights so I couldn't really plug in fog, fog lights for some reason so I gotta get another set of fog lights and get them plugged in at least but the good news is the car is a matching VIN front bumper from matching VIN and we're matching VIN on the uh, grill as well, so that's pretty cool. The fenders are also matching VIN. I don't know why there's no VINs on the fenders, but they're matching VINs. They're pulled out, I guess. The way, the way you can tell is the car has original Honda pinstripes from the factory, so I know these are matching VINs fenders. So, all right. So we pretty much are going, are going to install the, we're gonna follow the instruction and we're just gonna install the uh, the tools. It's pretty much we're gonna have to uh, put it right here and drill. I guess I don't know if it has to drill, but drill like a little hole right there and there and right here as well. And it'll pretty much go. It'll pretty much go like this. You know what I mean? So you'll see. We're gonna install it and then see how that goes. Alright, just to show you guys, before you do the install, you have to remove the existing OEM bolts, two bolts. So, one right here for the bumper on the fender, which is right there, right here. You need to remove that, remove, remove this clip, and then another one right here. There's a bolt right right there. You gotta remove that and that on both sides. So it should look like this. This is the uh, bumper clip and the Phillips screw head. So it should look like it should look like this. So you gotta remove that and we gotta remove this. On both sides. Go, and go ahead and remove it. Just like that. Pretty much. So there should be one, two, three, four, four screws, ten millimeter screws, or actually this one's an eight millimeter, and that's a ten millimeter. So four screws, four nuts that you have to pull out from the front bumper uh, fender side to be able to install this. So this is pretty much gonna look like this. That's pretty much how it's gonna be installed. Judging by the looks of it, that's how it's going to be installed. This has like a little angle. Let's match the front bumper angle. See? 
looks like Golden Ridge, uh, like that. It should pretty much look like that, more or less. And then we gotta bend this underneath the bumper. Just like it says, it says from bumper tab repair kit, fold this tab and tuck underneath the bumper, use hardware to attach to, uh, to attach to bumper. So we're gonna have to fold this piece uh, underneath the bumper. And then it should look like this. So these were the two screws that I was talking about. Remove all OEM bolts and uh, clips from the front fender. So that's two. So 10 millimeter and eight millimeter for both sides. And then we install this. That's how it should look like. Slide underneath the bumper tab, the mag tools. So we're pretty much gonna install it on the front bumper now. <clears throat> All right, guys, so I pretty much put it like this. So, pretty much put it like that. And what you're gonna wanna do is mark some holes right there for, this, for the new uh, nuts and screws to be installed. Mark some holes either with a marker or maybe with like a pinch, like a hole pincher. <clears throat> you know, something like this. I'm gonna put this shit. Oh, you, you could either use something like this to just uh, pinch a hole. See, there's two holes right there for the new, uh, for the new uh, screws or nuts to be installed. I didn't go uh, too big. I got a drill and pretty much just drilled it inside. Pretty much. You know what I mean? And that's it. You can get yourself like a like a drill. And it'll definitely definitely help you out more. You get a drill bit. I used I used a five no three thirty two drill bits instead of a one sixteen five sixty four. I used a three thirty two. You could use seven sixty four. That should be the correct size, but I didn't want to go too big, so. It's like that I could just screw it in and just make like a new thread onto the bumper you know what I mean but I'm gonna try and test fit it right now see if it even works or whatever so And that's pretty much how it should look after you drill out the two holes there, I guess. 
definitely gonna need a drill. And as far as for the drill bit, I recommend using 764 for the drill bit for the front bumper. And then you're going to fold this back underneath the bumper, just like that. And we're going to make a new, uh, new tab, new hole for that. And it should look like that. And then this underneath.
right guys, so that's pretty much what it should look like. You're supposed to bend this and inwards into the bumper and drill a new hole like that. And that's what it should look like on both sides. That's the finished result. I didn't do too much of a good job. I just need to wrap this up and get it, <clears throat> get it going. I'm not looking for perfection, but it's pretty much uh, better and it's more stable. It's more stable, more rigidity, no play, nothing. To me, it's pretty much better, in my opinion. Alright, what's up guys? So we are going to be installing now the rear bumper uh, setup, bumper tuck setup. So we're going to need these four uh, pieces of hardware. Obviously the drill and the 8mm to unbolt the OEM clips and bolts, which we already did. We took out two bolts. One from the left side, passenger side, and one from the driver side. We already cracked that loose, so this should come out with ease. Now we gotta take out the typical clips, which is five clips that we gotta remove. This we already got out as well, so we have to take out the five clips. Simple flathead should do uh, should do the trick. So it's literally just that's it. One by one. And just simply try to remove them, I guess. Yep, and just remove them. Simple. If you have mud flaps, rear mud flaps, you have to unplug the clips on the car. Not these two bolts, just the clips that's on the car. So unplug that and it should come out on both sides. All right, so just to show you guys more or less when doing the rear bumper on the car, you gotta pull it out instead of taking these two uh, screws. Simply just unplug this little clip on the car. For the mud flaps. Unfortunately, I just found out I have to take the mud flaps out because there's a bolt on the bar that's underneath the mud flaps. So I'm gonna go ahead and take out these two screws, bolts from the mud flaps 
unfortunately I have to take it out. take this out on the bumper if you have mud flaps on your EK it is a good idea to pull that out otherwise you could break it so it is better it is not a good idea to break it so go ahead and put this back so we don't lose it And we're gonna do the other side now. Simple. I'm gonna clean this up a little bit. You know? Keep it a nice little clean. You know? Clean up the bumper. You know? It doesn't have debris on it, build up rust or whatever. Keep your car clean, and the car will last forever. Obviously, with good maintenance, any car will last forever. Taking care of it. All right, so now we're gonna do the other side. All right, so this side is pretty much uh, good to go. You know, it's uh, I already took everything out, all the screws and bolts and whatnot. Now we're going to do the other side, and this already out as well so now we're just gonna do this side pretty much same thing literally just be careful don't strip anything don't put too much excess force that way you don't mess up your your thread because this is plastic so just be careful mess up the thread and then just bolt this back on. All right. Now, same thing for this side. For the bumper. Pull that out. Gently. Gentle, gentle, gentle. Gentle. Gentle is better. With the right tools, anything is possible. If only they gave humanity and society all the right tools to do everything, we would be self sufficient. Oh my gosh. Alright, well, now that that's out, put that down for now. There we go. Alright! Same thing I said, clean this up a little bit. You know, I don't want debris in these areas. Mess up the uh, uh, 
right, and that should do it. We got the bumper loose. We're now going to be able to pull it out. Awesome. This is great stuff. You can pull out the dam. Damn bumper, huh? All right. Well, let's get straight to it. Adjust the camera. Let's get right to it, huh? Let's get right to it. Straight to the point. It's what everybody loves. Well, how could I forget? We have bumper screws underneath. We have one plug, the two clips. There's two clips. Once we got those two clips out, we're pretty much set to go. So that's exactly what we're gonna do. Plug the two clips. Flathead. With a flathead, we're just gonna go voila voila. With the flathead. So, as you can see, so let's pull that out. Should be good to go. This is on the floor. As well. Should come right out. Alright, well, I pretty much took out the rear bumper. The clips look to be decent, they're not broken. Uh, this is an original bumper. Uh, the way to tell is there's a Honda stamp on there. So that's how I know it's an original bumper. Even though the VIN was, I guess, scraped off. Whatever. But that's how you tell if it's an original Honda bumper or not. There should be a Honda stamp on it. Uh, and right there. I guess that's the real bumper, yeah? So that's how you know it's an original bumper. The rear bumper must have been painted or something. Since there's no VIN. Usually there's a VIN tag. Or right here, I think it is. Somebody must have uh, ripped it out. Or they painted it over. Maybe. But it's an original bumper. That's good news. So what we're going to do is we're literally just going to clean this up real good. Get any little debris on it. You know. Clean up real good. And do the same thing on the rear side of the car. Clean this up. Oh, man. Clean 
this up a little bit. Give it a nice little power wash. Maybe uh, clean this as well. Put some tape for the uh, rear bumper foam support. Put some tape around this so this doesn't come out loose. Right now it's loose. So, so just put some tape and clean it up. Maybe give it a little uh, spray paint. Clo uh, coat sp spray paint or whatever to prevent it from uh, rusting but yeah and we're literally going to take these clips out the white clips going to come out and we're just going to install the new stuff the new new the new stuff which is going to look exactly like this so we're gonna install this while we take out the white OEM uh, bumper clips. So we have to pull out the white OEM bumper clips and install these guys. And then this is gonna go on the bumper. We're gonna have to drill that onto the bumper. So this is gonna go on the car and this is gonna go on the bumper. Right there. Just like that. It's gonna go on the bumper. All right, so let's get started. So I pretty much cleaned it up as best as I can. Uh, get a little rag, put some water on it. There's power wash. And that's about it. I'm gonna give it a nice little uh, original spray paint on it. Like on the rust spots, a little bit of uh, those areas. So it doesn't, until I get the car fully painted. If I do get the car painted, take out the original paint. Uh, yeah, other than that, should be good to go. Should clean it up, give it a nice little mini wash and so on for it <sighs> give it a nice little wipe down clean every areas underneath as much as you can do what you can with what you have a little simple wet rag and whatnot Pretty soon, one day, hopefully, Lord willing, I get the whole car painted. Clean this up a little bit as well. On the tabs, corners, and now I'm gonna get ready to install the missing pieces for the rear bumper of the Mac Lifter Kit bumper tuck install. I'll go to it now. So this is what I was talking about. Touch up paint. Electron blue pearl. Doesn't have much in it, but I'm gonna use it up. It is better to use something than let it sit and rot and do nothing. Just gonna spray paint the most important areas. I don't know if you guys can see, but might as well, you know, get the bumper out. Why not let this dry up a little bit, I guess. <laughs> and on for it. So I pretty much scraped it up. You know, I use a little, uh, a little mini scraper, like uh, I guess this could be considered a scraper. Just a really want to, you know, scrape it up a little bit. Take out whatever uh, build up it was on the rear bumper support and so on forward. Let's go paint this damn thing. 
with little, we don't even, we barely have any paint, but we're gonna use it up. Make sure it gets used. Mm-hmm. Well, it certainly looks way better now, huh? I suggest you guys get one of these spray paint uh, bottles. Definitely worth it, in my opinion. I'm gonna give it a little, uh, another layer after it dries up a little bit. I mean, that's pretty cool. Not so bad. But underneath too. A little bit. So we're gonna go ahead and remove these white clips on both sides of the bumper. Uh, I'm gonna use a flathead to remove that. Uh, I don't know if that's how you do it, but that's the only way I see I could do it. So let's see and try what happens. Let's see what happens. So we got it out, holy shit. Wow, that was kinda... Well, that's what it looks like. So we'll paint this as well so it doesn't rust. Paint that over. And that's one down, another one to go. Well, do the same thing on the other side.
and that's the other one. So that's two bumper clips out. I'm gonna clean this up, and spray paint it, get this ready so it doesn't rust, and so on for it. Just for now, I should do. So I'm gonna go ahead and tape the uh, bumper support uh, foam so it doesn't have any play or make any weird noises. This should uh, make a difference. That's not gonna go anywhere or make any noise, any bumper noises or rattles or whatever. That should do it. All right, so when installing this piece, this hole right here, you're gonna have to pull out the uh, trunk liner fabric so you can bolt it in right there on the hole with the screws, you know what I mean? with the washer and the screw. And you do it on that side, both sides, and you should be good to go. All right, to set up your hardware piece, um, it looks like the long part has to go towards the tail lights and the short part towards the fender or rear quarter panels, whatever, rear quarter panels. So the long, the long piece, the long side, goes towards the tail lights. So this is the driver's side, rear left. So 
let's install this. So this should be driver's side, rear left. Yep. That's exactly what we're gonna do. We're gonna install this and leave it on the driver's side and left. it that's what it should look like and then boom then you get to adjust it up and down or whatever you see how it works with the bumper and then you tighten it now see how you want to do the bumper uh, tuck and that's that do the same thing on the other side adjustable so you could have it really really low really high you just gotta play with it screw screw around with it and adjust it to how you want your bumper pretty much up down pretty much adjustable in many ways all right now let's get to the best part the tricky part, the drilling part. So now we gotta drill this onto the uh, tabs, onto this side, on both sides, both corners, pretty much. So it's pretty much gonna look like this, like a U or a V shape. And then the way it works, it's gonna literally just go like that. And you drill a hole. I can't put on. There you go. Oh, I like that. And then you just drill a hole. Pretty much just like that. That's how it's going to look. It's the uh, exhaust side. So for the exhaust side, you want to make it look like this. And then you just drill the three holes. Well, uh, boom, simple. Pretty much how it should look like. All right. Well, 
that's one. Now we're gonna go to the other side. Alright guys, so we are pretty much done. That's the bumper tuck. I didn't go all out. I just did a simple, you know, bumper tuck just to get it over with. Uh, I can't complain. No more gaps in between the, the lines. Like, it was this big. And now it's just like a normal gap just like any other regular car. Obviously the car needs a paint job. It's still original paint, but hey, whatever. Who gives a shit? So much better now. Look at that. Wow. Completely much gap free, pretty much. Pretty much gap free. Nice. This part is gonna get painted, so. Pretty soon it will be uh, 100. We'll see. Oh yeah, big difference. Big difference. So much better. All right. 